Now how we represent the plus infinity and minus infinity in the fractional number? To represent plus infinity, first give the sign bit as 0, write all 1s in the exponent bits and write all zeros in the significant bits. This is how we represent plus infinity. To represent minus infinity, write 1 in the sign bit, then write all 1s in the exponent bits and then write all zeros in the significant bits. There is one other thing we can represent as floating point fractional number that is NAN means not a number. NAN is represented as all 1s in the exponent bit and at least one 1 in the significant bit. If all the bits in the significant are 0 then either it will represent positive infinity or negative infinity. But if at least one bit is 1 then after writing all 1s in the exponent bit it will represent or NAN not a number and in the case of NAN the sign bit doesn't matter it's 1 or 0 it doesn't matter. So if you got binary like this then do not try to solve it like we did in our previous example. Instead you directly say it as positive infinity, negative infinity or NAN not a number. You may have doubt about what is the significance of NAN. So here are the list of operations returning NAN. The first one is indeterminate form. For example, 0 by 0, 0 to the power 0, infinity by infinity, 0 multiplied by infinity, etc. Other examples are a square root of a negative number, logarithm of a negative number and many more examples are there. Operations with at least one operand results NAN.